with everything else that I've seen in this vehicle, I'm a little worried to pull the radio out. <laughs> okay, I didn't do the radio though. Some uh, shop in California did the radio because I bought it in California and drove it to Utah. So I just went to the first shop I could find that uh, had decent reviews. Uh, it's not as bad. Okay, it's not as bad. <laughs> it's still, it's still a little bit scary though. It's all right. We'll get it all taken care of. Yay! Oh, you know what? Now that you're taking that out, we're gonna take this thing out for the last time. See a Bluetooth AM FM whatever transmitter. You uh, suck while being great. Oh, whoa. Okay. We're right. undressing the door. Yeah. He's doing a lot faster than I did it though. The speakers aren't in yet, but the deck is in. We connected my phone to it via hardlined USB right there. Boop! Hey there! Yo! That's pretty cool. Built in swivel, so you can just turn it back around and uh, film while driving. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, here's a cool thing uh, Apple CarPlay, uh, it's becoming very, very popular in the newer vehicles, newer Chevrolets, newer Hondas, and such have it built in when you buy a factory. But for an older vehicle like an 04 uh, Chevy Silverado, there's no way that you can get it. So, aftermarket radios now have that feature where you can just turn it on and all of your, uh, your important apps are going to be available to you right at the touch of an icon. What's really cool about it though is you can go directly to your music, which apparently you don't have any music. No, okay. No, I have a lot of music on there. I probably yeah. have so much that it's being loaded. Taking Back Sunday. Yeah. And look, volume controls. On the steering wheel. That hasn't worked since day two of me owning the truck. And if you can't tell now, but these speakers are so bad. That was bad, right? Yeah, these it was are pretty bad. bad. Well, yeah. we're gonna hook them up with some Phoenix Gold TI2s and uh, this exact same song is gonna sound 10 times different. Your car is nicer than mine and mine's brand new. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. He is, he's just over here putting a new speaker in, something about cutting baffles, making holes bigger, and uh, other stuff that he's used to, I don't know. What we are doing is we're gonna put the new speakers in the door panel, but instead of putting them in the factory location, which is behind the door panel, roughly about, I don't know, two inches behind the door, and an inch behind the door, I'm gonna be putting, putting them on the door panel. Reason why is because when Chevy made this, the speaker was flushed into the door and that gap causes the sound wave from the speaker to get stuck behind the door panel. So when you bring the speaker to the front, it allows the air or the sound to escape and you get the full sound. We're also gonna use a baffle and mount them on the back of here so that it traps the sound, the, the back, back sound of the speaker. Ah, okay. And it gives you a lot more of a solid uh, listening experience. Excited, I'm excited. She's all buttoned up for the for the night, at least. For the night. We're getting a tour. This is two videos, so I don't know what to put in what. 
but we did we finished the switch panel up here so all the switches are up here now we put the deck in we put in front speakers uh we put in this dash cam uh we he did a whole new fuse box and relay and all that kind of crap in there with a the new battery but he rewired my led light bar rewired my fog lights rewired my train horn rewired my rear leds uh fixed all of my problems and put in a bunch of new stuff we are back at pro audio pro 4x4 justin came with us today yeah uh, we're finishing up the sound system, so we're doing the sub and the amp. Colton's here. Uh, What's up? Looking at everything to make sure it'll work. I'll, uh, I'll get the vacuum and clean that out for you. Justin and I used to live together, guys. Remember that vlog? You remember that? I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. The glory days. Oh, while you're here, if you guys want to take a look at my new ride, Oh, sweet, dude. Yeah. Shamu. Getting a little work done and uh, trying to figure out what, what to do with her next. So, if you have any uh, suggestions, please subscribe. I mean, put them in the comments. Look who showed up. Look who showed up. What a slacker. Hi, Dave. Hi. I really like the way this thing looks. <laughs> it's a good looking amp, isn't it? it is. This is actually a five channel amplifier, but uh, what we're doing is we're going to bridge the uh, front channels off of the four channel portion and then we'll run the sub. So basically the front uh, left and right channels are gonna go to the left front door and then the rear left and right channels are going to go to the right front door and the subwoofer so this thing's gonna scream so it would be what would be used for four channels will be used for two channels right doubles the power going to the speakers and uh increases the wattage so it's gonna sound amazing I think that's all really good news. Yeah, that's great news. As a guy who really likes loud noises, good news. Guess which slacker is leaving? Okay, and he put his face mask up. They saw your face earlier, Dave. I'm no, not gonna cut it out. Delete it. Delete all of that. No, I'm not. Yes. Nope. Working real hard over here. Listen, somebody needs to be ready to get a look at the under the underside undercarriage in most other scenarios i've always been the undercarriage guy so it's possible that my i won't be needed here but if i am i'm ready we're gonna try to put something on camera that just got explained to me like literally 30 seconds ago i don't know if you'll be able to hear it but basically he's gonna play a note which is a 1000 hertz 1000 hertz 1000 hertz sine wave and what that does is it plays the note and you keep turning up the volume and you can hear where your speakers start clipping so you can find your volume level to not go above because that's where it starts getting distortion and your sound starts to suffer. So he's gonna do that right now. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Could you hear it? I don't know. Could you hear it? I heard it. So it was what, 28? 28. And uh, basically what you're hearing is the, uh, the actual radio clipping at that particular volume level. So it's, uh, it's basically distortion that you're hearing after that point.
27 me. and below will play just fine and give you crystal clear audio. Anything above that, you risk damaging the speakers. And that level changes depending on mm -hmm. like what equipment you have or? No, that is the actual level that the head unit can put out before total distortion. So no radios ever built can ever produce a uh, quality signal all the way up 100%. Normally it's three quarters volume is the highest that you could ever go on a radio. Using this sine wave, you're actually able to audibly hear where the distortion sets in so that you know where your cap is and you're not going to accidentally distort. Realistically, I'll probably never go above 18, maybe 20. You don't, you don't listen to super loud music in here. No, no, I'm not much of a loud, loud, loud guy. Just Come on, dude. We know that you blast Celine Dion at the top. That, that My heart will go on. That is the, Dion, that is the right? one exception. That's Celine Dion is what takes Miles to 27. <laughs> That's absolutely true. <laughs> it's all coming yeah. back to me now. Uh, there's an entire spectrum of notes that I did not even know existed before. Legitimately, this song that's on right now is on because I had listened to it in my truck and there were parts that I thought were just quiet and I got in my friend's car and notes came in through the sub that I didn't know were even in the song. Which is what sparked this whole thing of me being like, oh, I should get a sound system on my truck because this sucks worse than I realized. So now here we are, full sound system in. Yay! Yeah! Thanks, dude. You're welcome. All right, and anyone that wants work done, needs work done, whatever, go, if you're in Utah, even if you're not in Utah, this is uh, Pro Audio Pro 4x4 in Provo. So go check them out. I'll link all their stuff below. As for Colton, that's this guy here. What's up? He'll get you taken care of, putting everything back basically, and then we're done. We're done with the audio. And then next time we're doing remote start and backup camera and other stuff. But we're done for now.